Or you may recall that I have a 10 pound pillow and a 200 pound mattress. Now it's time for my 20 pound blanket. Boom, here it is, it just arrived. Cracked it open and I'm gonna try it out. This is the Blanquil. It is a 20 pound blanket. First thing I'll say is that it's obviously very heavy. It is a 20 pound blanket. And the material is very soft. Bailey is making sure that it's safe material for me. Ugh. So it's gonna take up about half of a king size bed. I feel what appear to be packets inside here like little bean bags almost. Oh, there's a zipper. Let's open this up. This is what's inside. 48 inches wide by 74 inches long. This material in here, there's different pouches as you can see. It keeps everything compartmentalized so the weight will stay evenly dis distributed. It feels like kind of a buckwheat slash padded material in each one of these. Obviously it's not bedtime, but I cannot wait to get underneath here, so I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, wow. You know, it reminds me of, a first, just on first use, it reminds me of when you're getting an x-ray and they put that big thing over you at the dentist office. Oh, wow, it's, it is really heavy. It feels pretty warm. Of course, it is a, about 108 degrees outside right now. Oh, this is gonna be interesting to sleep with this. I definitely feel the weight, it's, and it's pretty evenly distributed all the way down to my feet, too. So this is gonna be cool to try this out tonight. I can't wait. Ugh. All right, I had to run out for a while and I wanted to point out that I was gonna do a weighted blanket many months ago. Um, there was a Kickstarter last year that was pretty highly uh, publicized. And when I started researching that particular product, it got a lot of really bad comments. They were having a problem delivering them. They are having a problem with the quality that I just, I kinda wanna stay away from it because it looks so bad just from all the comments I read. I just kinda wanted to skip it. But there are other weighted blankets out there. Fortunately, I ran across Blanqua, which had pretty good reviews. So I thought that might be a better one to try out. Some like had a better chance of resonating with the consumers. So Blanqua is the weighted blanket of choice. Look, okay, here we go. Oh, sleeping under a lead blanket like the dentist office. This is night number one. Let's see how this goes. All right, my first night with the blank will is behind me and here's my first initial observations. Uh, I actually did kind of like the way it felt. It was like one of those lead blankets you have at the dentist office. If you like that, you definitely like this. It did seem kind of hot to me. Of course, it is the middle of summer here in Vegas. My room was pretty cold because this is the coldest room in the house, so it didn't really bother me that much. But if your house is kind of warm, I don't know if this would be great in the summertime. I did feel like I slept pretty well with it on. Tonight, I'm gonna let my daughter try it out. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna try it again without the cover and seeing if that works as well because someone at the company said that you could do that. More tests to do, but on day one, I'm pretty hopeful that I'm gonna like this in the long run. So last night, my daughter used the blank wheel and she actually liked it quite a bit. She has some anxiety problems. She said it felt like having someone snuggle up next to her kind of have that swaddle feeling. So tonight I'm gonna to try it again, but I'm gonna try it without the cover because I actually asked someone at the company about using it in the summertime months and they said you can take the cover off because it's more about weight than heat. So tonight I'm using the blank wheel without the cover on to see if there's much of a difference. The first time I used it, I liked it, but it was kind of hot. Let's see how it does this time. All right, let's take it out of there and see what we got inside. You can see right there, see they have it tied in place. Presumably so it doesn't shift around when you're sleeping. I'm guessing it's gonna be tied on that side too, so I'm gonna to pull it inside out. I got another tie here in the middle. And for the final one to untie, it makes sense they would tie it down because otherwise it would just shift around when you're sleeping. So I think that's not a bad thing. It's a little bit more difficult to take it out of the cover, but otherwise, it would it would not work well. All right, I've now removed it from the cover. So tonight and the next few nights, I'm just gonna sleep with just the weighted part because as they told me, this is not about warmth as it is about weight. So tonight, less warmth, hopefully the same amount of weight. All right guys, so I got a special treat for you. Um, my last time I had my daughter's opinion in a video, I relayed it for her and some people said 
they didn't really like that so much. And in fact, someone said she didn't really exist. Well, guess what? She does exist and she's here right now. She's gonna give her opinion of the blind quilt because she's used it actually more than I have. So we're gonna call her in the car and we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Flies infiltrated our video here. Hi, here she is everybody. Yay. I, I actually do exist. Yeah, she exists. <laughs> All right, so I was just telling everybody that you have used the blind quilt I think more than I have at this point. Yeah. Uh, so uh, she suffers from panic attacks and anxiety. So, and that's the kind of demographic that the blank was really targeted for. I mean, anybody can supposedly benefit from it because it supposedly helps you sleep deeper. I found that I slept pretty well with it, but I know that some people have a therapeutic use for it. So that's why I thought she would be a good person to try it out. So. My question is, what do you think about the blank will after using it for about a week? Well, right off the bat, when the first night that I used it, I realized that it felt like I was being like hugged and kind of cuddled. And I guess it's a little weird out of context, but it did help. Um, it keeps me in place, keeps me kind of secure, and I don't move around as much. Um, it did get a little hot, but I actually like sleeping with a lot of warmth, so it kind of benefited me from that. Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, I did sleep with it with the cover off. She wanted the cover on, so uh, there was a different, pretty big difference when the cover was off versus on when I try it out. So you might want to try that. And usually, I have to fall asleep with my cat next to me, kind of like cuddled right here. And she was very confused because she didn't realize that I was under a blanket, and she thought that I was a bed. But <laughs> she thought you were the bed because it was so <laughs> that thick. That was a bed. That's funny. With her, as well as that, I was able to sleep really well. But as far as getting to sleep and needing that like comfort and security it definitely helps so it's kind of advertised uh, for people that have sensory issues autism panic attacks anxiety um, it also is advertised for people that just have problems sleeping and they suppose you can you kind of feel uh, secure when you're sleeping like that so uh, I think we both agree that it kind of helped in different ways for each of us because I don't have the kind of panic attacks and anxiety that other people do. I think that I'll probably like it a little bit better in the winter time when it's freezing in the house because it's pretty warm. Not the cover is not so bad, but it's pr it's a pretty thick, warm blanket. Mm -hmm. The other thing is it's it's you're supposed to have a weighted blanket. You can choose two different uh, weights. I think 15 and 20 pounds. And I think it's supposed to be as close to 10% of your body weight as you can get. So when you're using a 20 pound, you're actually using a heavier blanket than they recommend. Mm. Um, <laughs> Whoops. So, but she doesn't seem to mind, so I guess no. it doesn't really matter. Another thing is that I wouldn't, I'm not sure if I had severe back problems or if I had a breathing problem like asthma, if I would be quick to use something like this because that extra weight could create other problems. The other thing is I, children. I mean, a lot of people buy this for like autistic children and things like that. Mm -hmm. I, if you want to make sure your child can get out from underneath it, it's right. pretty heavy. Um, so I would, some people that I've heard about will use it for their kids to fall asleep and then take it off of them and put a regular blanket on them. So that's something else to consider. You know, if you have physical limitations or a child using it. So, I mean, it's not for everybody, but mm -hmm. it certainly it certainly is, I think, helpful to some people. I, I found it to be pretty useful. Yeah, that's what I noticed when I put it on my bed for the first time. I was carrying it into my room and I kept struggling to even just open the door, but yeah, then again, my arms are like twigs, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I said earlier, my mom would probably have a problem because my mom's four foot 11. And she's very small. If that. Um, if, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, mom. Oh but I mean, I think she would actually have a hard time uh, maneuvering with this thing because it's, it's, you know, think about a 20 pound weight, but this one flops around a lot. So really, I think it won't solve all of your problems, but it's a good, good piece of your sleep routine if you have certain things that you think it would help with. Uh, in my case, I, I did seem like I had moved around less while I was mm -hmm. sleeping. And, and that means my sleep was less disrupted, which means I slept better. So I, I think, in my case, it's pretty good, but I don't think I'm getting it back because I think she likes it more than I do. Yeah, it's gone now. It's gone. It belongs to Spooky and I. I'm gonna go wrap this up, but thank you for joining me. See, I do have a daughter, whoever said I didn't have one. Some people don't use weighted blankets for sleep. Some people use it before they go to sleep. They'll be sitting on the couch watching TV or reading, and they have that kind of secure feeling. I also wanted to mention that the outside cover is washable, but I didn't really see anything about the inside. So even though you can use it without the cover, I'm not sure how you're supposed to clean that. I haven't found that out yet. All right, so I've slept on the Blanquil a few nights without the cover and a few nights with the cover. And in this warm climate right now, I definitely prefer it without the cover. 
The only thing is that uh, it's not comfortable to sit on necessarily because it's kind of lumpy, but the feeling of the weight really doesn't change. It's just this cover was a bit warm for my sake. Another thing to consider is that, you know, some people may struggle with a 20 pound blanket. It's 77 squares, seven across, 11 deep. And, uh, okay, Mr. White, it's time for your x-ray. That's what it feels like. I will say that the nights that I've slept with this, either with or without the cover on it, I do seem to not move around as much in my sleep. Maybe because I have this kind of swaddle feeling. I'm not sure as far as the blank will itself goes. It doesn't move around in the cover, which I think other brands do move around, but the way they secure it in place with these straps keeps it from distributing the weight unevenly. So I think that the blank will is well made. I really have no complaints about it except for maybe the cost, but all weighted blankets seem to be pretty expensive. I think this one runs around 170. I definitely want to continue using it without the cover until it gets colder here, but I'm gonna try putting it back in the cover to see how hard that is to do. So let's try that out. All right, I guess you have to kind of do it inside out as you're going. So let me see if I can do this. Here's how you secure it. You have one in each corner, one in the middle on each side. I think that's the best way to keep it from moving around. More importantly, I'm gonna time this and see how long this takes me. The hardest part to me about putting the cover back on is threading this through here. I can't do it with, while I'm holding the camera, but that seems like sometimes it's taking me a minute. Once you get one threaded through there, it's pretty simple. Ugh. All right, that took me exactly five minutes to put the cover back on. I think if I did it a few times, I could probably shave a couple minutes off of that, but it's not really too bad. But what I'm gonna do is take it back out of the cover in a few minutes here because I don't wanna sleep on this the rest of the summer with this hot cover on. The winter, I'll probably put it back on. For those who have certain conditions that this helps, I think that this is a really good choice. I think the price is a bit high, but the price is a bit high on all weighted blankets that I've seen. So, so with that being equal, this is actually a pretty good choice. Have you used a weighted blanket or the blank wool itself? Tell me what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freaking Reviews.